My name is Anna, and for today's video, I'm going to swatch for you guys my currently owned Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Now, I have two in the new Hot Lips 2 collection. I have two in the Kissing Formula, and I have four in the Matte Formula. Now, these are all brown girl friendly, as you can see, moi is one. Um, so let's get started. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the Hot Lips 2 formula. Um, I got two shades here. I was very excited when I first purchased these, but um, they've kind of disappointed me in terms of the packaging. As you can see, they've really just like worn off. And these are meant to be like reusable packaging, so that is really a bummer. They should. I think she should have made the reusable, reusable packaging in her regular, um, you know, this kind of bullet form thing. Okay, so the first shade that I have is actually this one. It's called Viva La Vigara by Sofia, after Sofia Vigara. It's a beautiful, like, berry pink shade. Very similar to Walk of Shame, in my opinion. And you do find that the Charlotte Tilbury shades are very similar when she comes out with new ones. Um, so just always keep an eye out for that, that, you know, one of her new shades just might be very similar to an older shade that she already has. But I absolutely love this shade. It's so beautiful. And this is it swatched on my hand. And I will compare um this one to the bond girl and walk of shame later in the video that's how it looks like my next lipstick is called glowing gen by the beautiful after the beautiful jennifer aniston and this is like my the one that i consider new nude on my skin um i really don't go for a new shade just because I feel like I just don't look good in them. And this is definitely like a medium pink shade. And by the way, even though these two are the kiss, um, the hot lips too, this one I believe is in the kissing formula. And I think this one is in the matte formula, which I almost forgot to mention. As you can see, this one is just much more juicier and hydrating on the lips. This one is like a pink, a light pink with a touch of peach in it. Um, not very berry, more of a peachy pink kind of color. This is what it looks like. I'm going to share the other two kissing formula sh uh, shades that I have. The first one is Stoned Rose. And this one is a... This one would be more considered a real pe peachy nude because the glowing gen one was like a peachy pink and this one is definitely more peachy nude kind of color. I find myself wearing a lip liner with this one. It looks okay like this on the lips but it definitely looks better when you have a, some sort of lip liner on the lips and that's how it looks like the next one that I have is called love bite and this is basically the only actual red that I own from Charlotte Tilbury it's a beautiful bright orange red it's absolutely gorgeous Don't make fun of me. I completely did not apply this correctly to align my lips in any way. <laughs> That's why it looks kind of weird. But anyway, um, this is how it looks like. I love this color. I think it just really makes your complexion just come to life, especially for the summer. This is just a beautiful color. And since it's 
it is the kissing formula you can even just dab the tiniest bit to have more of a stain and if you don't want like the full-on red lip my lips are hurting okay and now the next one that i will be sharing with you guys is amazing grace by the beautiful grace kelly and this one is a pink coral color this is also another shade where i feel like i need to wear a lip liner with in order to make it look better and it's also one of her least opaque 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 colors of hers that i have i feel like with this one you really have to do you really do have to build up with a couple layers to have like the full color of this that's how it looks like very beautiful for summer as well okay now the next one that i will be sharing with you guys is one of my favorites this is called a birkin brown it's a beautiful like burgundy but it's a little bit more brown than purple red um it's a very neutral like deep brown burgundy kind of color which is why i absolutely love it i've never seen anything like this shade i think it's a very unique shade that's how it looks like on the lips perfect for fall almost done my lips are dying okay this next one is called a bong girl it's one of her um most popular shades and this is like a true mauvey pink color i feel like it doesn't get any more mauvey than this which is why i really like it It's very beautiful i also think this is a very unique color and now for my most favorite charlotte tilbury and i can dare say my favorite lipstick besides reds um is not pillow talk it's actually a walk of shame i absolutely love this color i think it's the perfect like pink red color with not too much berry in it um it's absolutely stunning i love this color and that's how it looks like on the lips it's very similar to viva la vegara and bond girl but you there is a difference i promise like this is walk of shame it definitely has more like red kind of bricky hues to it and then Bong Girl is very mauve -y. As you can tell, you can see those lilac and purples coming through. And then Viva La Vigara is more, it's more of a like pink berry color. You can definitely see the difference. Although, like I said, it's pretty similar, but you can see the difference between these three shades. And they're absolutely all very beautiful colors. But like I said, Walk of Shame is my favorite. Okay, guys, and that's it for this video. Very quick and fast video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what lipsticks you guys think on buying because of this video. Or what lipsticks do you guys own that you recommend to me? Because I'm always looking to buy more lipsticks. You know, it's kind of a problem that I have, but you know, whatever. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.